goes. It's a beautiful morning. Can you sniff it? Hi, Mochi. So beautiful. I usually take the girls on their morning walk. It's just a little bit past seven o'clock in the morning and it's just so beautiful out. Feels like a fall day in the morning and then it's back up to like mid to upper 80s in the afternoon. I love the morning time. All right, we are back from our walk. It's about 7.30 now. Um, so this is kind of what my desk looks like. I just took down my work setup, my work laptop, the extra monitor that sits on this monitor stand, which is really nice. I got that from Target. It actually can plug in and then it like US, no, it wirelessly can charge your phone. Um, somewhere yeah like right there but I don't usually plug that in but anyway so this is kind of me just cleaning off my work desk now I'm gonna take that down and it's hard to tell but I have like a black desk mat that I use throughout the work week but I love using my pink one for when I film like planner videos and planner sticker hauls so I'm gonna switch that out now to my pink mat because I do have a few segments that I want to film for my planner sticker haul for September. I'm also going to get ready for the day, do my makeup, then hopefully like the sun is more even in the room for when I film that segment too. But yes, so that is what we are going to do right now. So this is what I use to do my eye makeup today. I tried to like wipe it off so it didn't look so dirty, but this beauty bakery eyeshadow palette. I really like it. I think I got it from Target in like February. I don't think I've seen it when I've gone to Target recently, but I really like this eyeshadow palette. And then, oh, these are the same thing. They're both almost out. I thought I grabbed um, my other liner. Oh, here's one. I think this is what I used. L'Oreal. So L'Oreal pencil liner. The Benefit Roller Liner. I love this one. Um, and then Too Faced Shadow Insurance is really old. So that's pretty much what I used. And here's some like mascaras. I just layer a bunch of mascara on. So yes, this is kind of what I did for the eye makeup today. It's 8 o'clock. We're just pulling up to Target. All right. Ooh, it's really good. Can I try it a little bit? There's a ton of cream. Yeah. I'll give you a bit. I'll try it a bit. Sure. Mm. How do you like it? Mm. Best one so far. 
It's so pretty. Isn't it pretty when the like cream kind of like falls down? What? I love it. Makeup aisle. Nail polish. So which one looks the most like wedding like? Maybe this one? Yeah. Celebrate. That one or like maybe this like that one's probably perfect. Probably this one. We can keep looking to see if there's any more in other aisles. I'll put it right there. Um let's see if there's any more right here. Mm, no, I think they're the same gift cards. I guess we are kind of getting out of wedding season because that's more of like summertime. Yeah. I kind of like when we come earlier and we can like browse more. Yeah. Whoa, are you guys so excited? We got these treats today from Target. These little boo bites and they're so excited. Treats, treats, treats. Whoa, did you jump in with me? So let's see what they look like. A little wrapper down. That's what they look like. They're kind of like Halloween shapes. Look at these little boo bites. See it? Oh, you're both sitting. There you go. There you go, Mochi. And another few treats. There you go. Good girls. Was that good? Oop, oh, fell on Minnie's head. It's hard to see with the camera. Good girls. Were those good? Do you like those? Okay, so now this is like what our desk setup looks like. It's a few hours later, so it's about 10 o'clock now. So I laid down my pink mat, which is just from Amazon. And then there's the two packages I'm going to um, show in my first part of my September sticker haul, even though that one's not that one's not stickers, but you will see. Um, this is the little tripod I use and then I put my phone up there. It's a little like unstable, so I have to put a book right there to kind of even out the weight, but I really like it. That's what I use for like the overhead videos when I do my wax hauls with just my hands or my sticker videos. So we will film a little sticker segment now. Hello, so I realized I haven't even been like in my vlog yet. Um, so I just wanted to say hello. Um, this is the wax that we are going to put into all my warmers today. Um, I'm trying to pull just my, um, just my, I just lost my train of thought, my fall wax that I showed in my fall wax collection. So we have the October vibes in there, but we have the strawberry jam because it is going to be a pretty warm day out today. It's already pretty warm inside. My husband's kind of back there eating. But um, yeah, so we are going to put this throughout my apartment today. I'm so excited. I love L3 strawberry jam. So good. You can see my little pumpkin warmers back there. So yes, I just want to say hi. All right, so now what I'm gonna do today, this is just like a behind the scenes of one of my stickers and chit chat videos, but um, we planned this base last weekend. So this was my caress press kit in Marrakesh. So you will see, um, I actually don't know what video you're gonna see first, if you're gonna see this vlog or if you're gonna see this plan with me, but, this is behind the scenes. I'm going to now pull my character stickers for when we do the day by day, just so it can go a little bit quicker. Because you guys, my planner videos are like two hours long. Um, so I'm gonna use my Hobonichi pre-planner to look what I did throughout the day, pull my stickers, put them in this reusable sticker kit. And then what I'm also gonna do is just lay down, I think the you know, um, little things, full boxes, quarter boxes, whatever, I'm gonna lay those down just so it also kind of speeds up the process a little bit when we do our day by day. But this is kind of my sticker storage. So we've got like foil pretty much in here. It's like, you know, separated gold, we have silver. Definitely I have the most gold and silver in my collection. Then we have two 
um, little photo bins of rose gold. And then we have a few of hollow, even though my hollow collection is getting pretty big because I love hollow. And then just a few like random things back here, like foiled boxes, kind of random foil, um, things like that. So this is more like my foil functional box. These are just from like, uh, is it Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Jolian Fabrics? Just these like photo storage bins but i use them for my stickers most stickers fit perfectly in here and then this is more like my character stickers so we've got fox and pip paper and milk we've got two pumpkin paper co um one no coffee monsters co once more with love i'm just going through these really quick but totally let me know if you guys would want me to do like a character sticker collection and i can go more in depth than each of these boxes um i've got a ton of paper shire two boxes full um these are just leftover headers um leftover full boxes that sometimes i like to pull in um some cricut paper co We've got kind of a few mishmash different sticker shops in here where I don't have a whole lot of a collection. So a few Rose and Tea, a few Fox and Cactus, and a few from, I believe it's called the Sticker Party. Um, this is also a mishmash, mainly White Deer Stationery, but I also have some Sadie stickers. Um icons in here just a few Sadie stickers and they kind of give me similar aesthetic so that's why I kind of put those together but my white deer stationery is getting really big that could definitely be its own little box we've got some scribble prince co her icons which I just made a big order with a ton more icons so I will be adding to this bin as well as some of her old um like laptops back there and some of her bows and then I guess a few random like planner gems icons um that was actually those planner gems were from a really old like monthly kit and I guess I just put them there a few wonton and a million and then these are just like really fun um mainly just like labels like um lots of simply gilded Oh my gosh, I'm like messing them up. A um, ton of these like little freebie bows that come with orders I've collected over time. There's a few like Scribble Prince Co. little stickers that I've gotten from, what are they called? Like she sells these like little sticker bundles. Um, some donuts. Again, most of these are like the little sticker labels um, that I've just collected over time that I like to put on like mail. Some more bows, some bats. Oh my goodness, this stuff's upside down. We've got Juniper, the bunny, and then tons of um, tons of these bows. And then I also have, um, oh my goodness, I cannot lift this. I also have a ton of um, the like older bows that came on these sheets and then a few like Scrubble Prince Co. bows that came in mystery kits when I was subscribed to the mystery, gosh, a couple years ago. She used to include these with mysteries, which I love these. I love these putting them on like you know um journals planners mail happy mail boxes I send out I just love love all the bows so I always pick out some too for like our Christmas cards whatever like color scheme kind of matches or looks cute so yes we will be doing our I'm gonna be pulling my character stickers and then I'm going to film my day by day up until probably Friday since it's Saturday today. I don't have all my plans written down for Saturday and Sunday, but yes, hopefully you liked this little behind the scenes sticker clip. And again, let me know if you want to see any collection videos in depth, anything like that. Now we're doing their afternoon potty break. What time is it? Oh, my watch going, oh, it's exactly noon. Mochi mini. Minnie loves water, but she's like scared of these sprinklers. <laughs> so cute. So pretty out. It's such a nice like breeze as well. Isn't this like path so pretty? Oh my goodness. 
noticed that snake came out of nowhere. See it slithering? Ah, I feel like you can't see it on camera. I don't know. Oh my goodness, it's so big. It's like a really big, what is it called? Like a gardener? It was really big. It startled me. And when she was brave, she was chasing it. And Minnie had no idea what was going on. Oh, they're having a lot of fun. Cute. All right, hi everyone. There's little Minnie. So I'm about to get ready to go to a wedding. I'm going to be my friend's plus one for her brother's wedding. So I thought I would try to do a little outfit of the day. Obviously, I'm not going to wear socks. I think I'll probably wear like flats or sandals because it is a really nice day out. But this is the dress that I picked out for the wedding. And then I think I'm just going to put this kind of tinted balm on. It's like one of my favorites because you don't have to worry about it. You can put it on without a mirror. It kind of makes your lips a little glossy. So yes, this is the outfit. And maybe I will try to do a little bit of vlogging while I'm there. Yeah. Hi, Min Min. Hi, Minnie. Okay, so here's the lip balm that I put on. I think it's really pretty. Let's see, yes. Just kind of shiny, so, yep. Okay, so here's your outfit of the day, Eugenia. Her I necklace. Can't, I can't talk. <laughs> Wait, can I see your shoes? Yes. Heels, heels, so pretty, hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> I'm so awkward. We we're like matching. Yeah. And we didn't even plan that. There's the church. So pretty. Good morning. So now today it's Sunday the 4th. Um, I had a little bit of a later start to the day because I was kind of tired from the wedding festivities yesterday. So I got up at like 7.30 in the morning, took the girls for their walk. Um, now it's about 8.20 in the morning. I'm gonna make some broccoli. Um, just had to get the knife. I already washed off the broccoli. I guess this is chop and chat broccoli edition. Um, I just like to always have like broccoli pre-made um, and then I just like warm it up with whatever meal I have. So it's like my favorite vegetable. And I feel like the broccoli must be in season. I feel like it looks very good the last couple times I've got it from the grocery store. So I'm not gonna show you guys me chopping my broccoli the whole time, but just thought I'd give a little check-in, a little update in the morning. Um, I plan to do some like planner sticker stuff, but probably just by myself this time since I made a plan with me last week and I'm filming the day by day this week. I kind of like to do that sort of like every other week um, on camera. But yeah, other than that, gonna be a pretty chill day today. I think we're going out to meet a friend to eat at a restaurant later today, closer to dinner time. But other than that, yeah, just lazy Sunday today. Although technically it's my Friday because I have Labor Day Monday off as well as I just took a PTO day on Tuesday. So it's kind of our Friday today. This little girl watching me. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Are you guarding your pepper? <laughs> now I'm just sitting down. I'm about to plan for the upcoming week. Let's see. What week is that? So this is the current week. So the week of September 5th through the 11th. This is the kit that I pulled for this week. 
Um, again, it won't be on camera. I'm just gonna sit down, maybe watch some YouTube videos, Netflix, listen to music, just kind of plan by myself for this week. And then um, these are the two, I just changed out my L3 Strawberry Jam October Vibes blend. So I put Baked With Love from the Pharmacist's Daughter kind of spread out throughout my living room kitchen area. Seriously, this one's really good. Right when it hit like my tea light warmer, I'm like, ooh, that one's a good one. And then I did Pumpkin Lattes from Bodies Harmony. This one I picked up last year. I spread this one out throughout my um, office warmers. So yeah, I will maybe give a little update when I put my planner base down for this kit. Okay, I'm starting to lay down my base and I'm experimenting this week, trying to do like the bougie boxes and work my way up instead of starting with the full boxes and working my way down. Because if this way works, then maybe in my plan with me's, I won't have to flip my planner upside down. So we shall see. And then I just thought I'd update. I pulled these pretty washies. I thought these would match really good with the spread. Not sure if I'm going to pull all of them in or any, but I just thought they were so pretty. I want to at least, oops, I want to at least try to experiment with like one of them. But yes, we'll update how this looks when I finished all the, laying all the three like parts of the stickers down. I am really loving it. I feel like it worked perfectly starting from the bottom and working my way up rather than the opposite because I did not need to flip my planner upside down. I really like this method so I think I'm going to do this going forward and I don't know if you noticed but I switched up my layout a little bit. I decided to do the full boxes in the middle of the spread just for fun to switch things up um, and I'm liking it. I think this turned out really really pretty so I'm definitely going to do this method in my next plan with me. Here's what the base is looking like. Love it. It's so pretty. And I was able to pull in the Simply Gilded Washi in a few places. So beautiful. It's about 11.40 and we're taking the girls on a little car ride. Hi, Mochi. There's Mochi in her car seat and there's Minnie laying down on the blankie. We're going on a walk. And he's all excited. <laughs> Do the girls see the chipmunks? Yeah, <laughs> she loves chipmunks and squirrels. We have to make sure to hold her leash tight. Otherwise she will go. Yeah, she will them. run. <laughs> now they're both on alert. I know she's licking the rocks. Cute. Good girl, Minnie. Good girl, Mochi. Hi, Minnie. Are you so tired from the walk? Look at her little cute body. She's like a little baby seal. There's Mochi. Lots of energy still. I wanted to show the cutest little spot that Minnie likes to lay down. She loves this blanket. We have blankets kind of scattered throughout the apartment because I just love making little nests for them and she especially loves this blanket. It's so cute, she's like always laying on it. Good night, Minnie. She's exhausted from the walk. I'll go show you Mochi's little favorite spot. So then this is little Mochi's kind of hiding spot. She actually loves sleeping in our closet. So because I realized she loves sleeping in here, I just put down a lot of blankies for her to make her little nest. 
Look at, she's just falling right asleep. They are both exhausted from the walk. So cute. Good night, Mochi. Good night. And then there I can, I could hear my husband and his friend from in our apartment kind of echo because I have all the windows open. So they're just across the street in a parking lot doing some working out today. I think they're doing like boxing or jujitsu. My husband's on the right in the gray. So I just wanted to share a little haul from Patina. We went to Patina because there was one right by the ramen place we went for dinner. And also Mochi and Minnie are eating in case you hear they're crunching. Oh, Minnie must have just finished eating. Um, so yeah, we got, I got some cute little like glass blown pumpkin things, I believe. They're super cute. And I was thinking of putting them on my shelf with my pumpkin warmers and this is what they look like i think they're super cute so that's what the little pumpkins look like they're so tiny they had like small like these tiny ones small ones medium big ones of like the glass pumpkins and i also got this little jingly heart i just thought it sounded pretty and I love the little like, um, the little like paint design on here. It kind of reminds me of the mandala rocks that I painted. Let's see, like these ones. And then, oops, one more. So the design kind of reminds me of that. So I just thought it was kind of cute. So let's put the one there. We will put pumpkin there. There. And maybe a pumpkin here. So just cute little extra fall. Yeah, you can see how tiny the pumpkins are compared to the warmer. So cute. Just wanted to share that. All right, so now let's do the wax change out for Monday morning. Um, these are still the loaves that I want to chop. So this is for my part two chop and chat, which honestly I might film today or tomorrow because I have the time and I just feel like chopping. So we might do that, but let's pull the wax I want. So this is from my fall wax collection. I'm just going to like close my eyes and randomly pull What's this? Sape. Yeah, we can do this. Let's do this in my office warmer. And what do I pull? I'm just like digging, closing my eyes. Let's pull something for the living room. The great pumpkin for the living room? Sure, let's do this. So we are doing the great pumpkin and Zape American pie this morning. All right, we made some coffee. Look how cute this cup is from Home Goods. Oh my gourd. And we got this creamer yesterday at Target. Pumpkin spice. So let's give it a try. This is a really big cup, so I don't put, I feel like it's still at least like a cup of coffee like that. I don't know how much I want to do. How much do you, here, tell me when to stop. Right, stop. All right, I feel like I probably need more. I like a lot of creamer. But cool, I'm excited to try it. Here, why don't you try it and tell me what you think? Yes. Oh, oh. oh oops. Uh -oh. Oops. Spilling. Good. It's really good. Yeah, I like it. I'm excited. I feel like we've tried it at some point. I tried like all the different creamers hazelnut, Italian sweet cream, we got the pumpkin spice. What other creamers have come out? Um, there's like 
Maybe like a peppermint one, I yeah. guess. Yeah. What else? I feel like we've tried all of them, but excited to get the pumpkin spice for the the pumpkin season. <laughs> Mochi's like, what's going on? Hi, Mochi. Sorry if you hear my husband. He's in the office playing video games and I just sat down on the floor and Mochi just walked over to me. Hi, Mochi. Um, but basically, I'm gonna tackle this. Um, it's not that messy, but this is my Vintage Chic Sense collection. This is just one bin that I've been kind of wanting to reorganize. I just want to put the newer stuff on the bottom, see what's hiding underneath here so I don't kind of like lose sight of it. Um, this is, like I said, just specifically my VCS bin. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's, it didn't look like that much in the bin, but it is kind of a lot. So yes, I'm gonna start organizing, putting into piles, and then I'll update. All right, so I separated into piles. And the funny thing I noticed is I tend to buy VCS in like clumps of time. So we have like the small pile, and this doesn't include loaves. I store loaves elsewhere, but I'm not gonna go through my loaves right now. Um, so this is all 2021 date, but it's not super old. It's definitely late into 2021, December. December, November, so it still hasn't reached that year mark yet. Um, a few things, the November ones may be getting up there, there, this October one, but you know, not a year mark, but this is 2021. This is early 2022, so February and January. I said that backwards, <laughs> January and February. So this is what I'm saying. I feel like it's funny I buy things in clumps. So this is January, February. Um, and then this pile is April and May. So I didn't buy in March, I guess. <laughs> um, but then this is April and May. So just kind of an example, April 2022, some May things. And then this pile is all the newer stuff, July and August. So I didn't buy in June, but then we have July and August. So it's just kind of funny how that worked out that way. Oh. I just heard mini um, paw at the door, the door stopper thing. If you heard that, like that noise. Okay, so yeah, July, we've got some August. So yeah, I just think it's funny. I buy them in like clumps of time, um, but this is all the really new stuff. So I think I might put it at the bottom or I think I'm gonna try to group. I'm, see, I'm going back and forth. I like to group by scent category because if like bakeries together, I feel like it's better than like sugar cookie next to like a mint, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking to group by age. So, or like I also used to group by like shape, like the tiles are easy to stack up next to each other. <sighs> I don't know, but all this, if you can believe it, was in this bin. I will update when I've filled up the bin again. So putting everything away in this bin honestly is like a game of Tetris, trying to figure out where I want to place everything. So this is all the newest stuff, the July and August. I'm like torn because I bought a lot of stuff wanting to melt in the fall, but I really want to give it more cure time um, because all the fall things that I purchased are from August. So I don't know, maybe I'll try to circle back and pull it back out in like October, November time frame because this um, sugar cookie marshmallow fireside would be really nice for the fall or the cider lane one, but we'll see because I like to give VCS some cure time before I warm. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go ahead and do it by age. So oldest stuff on the bottom. So I grab the newer stuff. I'm honestly even thinking to just leave out the 2021 
couple items and just put it in like a bin that I can just grab whenever I want. Um, just so again, it's not like hiding away in this storage. So might not even put that one away, that pile. Okay, we'll update when these two piles are back in the bin. Hi, Mochi. Did you come back to help me put away? Literally right when I put my camera down, Mochi started walking all over the pile. Hi, Mochi. Ready to put away? You want to smell the wax? Wax. Oh, and I see a little VCS glitter heart on the bottom. I love the glitter she uses. Hi, Mochi. Don't lick the glitter. Oh my goodness. And now I just put it in Mochi's fur. Okay. Just put this. I had this little shopping bag next to me. Hi, Mochi. Ready to put away? Ready to organize? Oh, you wanna wanna shake? Can you hold your hand? Thank you. Pa. Thank you. All right, so everything is back in the bin that I want to put away. Um, we've got this one was super fun that she did around Valentine's Day, the heart and kiss bag. And then I also really love this like love postcard she did. I think that was super cute. But anyway, so we've kind of got like newest, then we've got the next section, and then we've got like the January, February in the front, and then kind of just yeah a, a little bit stacked on top but a lot better than it was before i've got the pile of samples that i think i'm just gonna set on top as well there's the pile of the 2021 that i'm gonna leave out and then then i did decide to just set out a couple that i might try warming so this is black cat sugar cookies with the cider lane i just feel like this is such a fall blend that i just want to maybe give it a try um hell house llc campfire marshmallows farmhouse apple cider this was early july so i feel like this one definitely could be ready for this fall um this is a pumpkin pecan waffle blend this was in april so i feel like this is definitely good to go as well um, the Riff Off, this is Campfire Marshmallow, so I thought this one might be a fun one. This is from May, so that one's good. And then this one I just want to try. Um, I love her blend, Tara Will Never Go Hungry Again. It's so good. Um, and I have four of these little, I forgot what flower shape this is, but I have four of them, so I'm like, you know what, let me just leave one out because I love this blend so much. Um, so yeah, we have organized VCS. I don't know if I'm going to organize any other wax collections tonight, but this is just a fun little peek into my VCS collection. All right, so I am going to do a bath night tonight. I feel like I rarely do bath nights, um, so I'm really excited to have a relaxing night, read my Kindle, um, and yeah, just kind of wind down for the day. I also have this little like woodwick burning candle for the ambiance um i put some of this scentsy soak in and i'm just gonna go all out i have this lush bath bomb too um like i said i don't take baths super frequently so when i do i just kind of go crazy so let's put that in there too minnie loves water i don't know why whenever my husband or i shower in this shower she just goes crazy um so she'll sit like right here on the bathroom mat while I shower. So cute. There's Mochi. I just got out of the bathtub. I see Mochi. She's laying on the blankie. She always messes up the blankies on the bed. It's so cute. Makes a comfy little nest. I know I show Mochi and Minnie a lot, but they're like my little babies. Good night, Mochi. Alrighty, so I think this is going to be the last segment of the long weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of like a different side of me outside of just doing the wax hauls and planner videos on occasion. Um, yeah, let me know. I'd totally be up to doing these vlogs every now and again. I think they're fun, honestly, just for memory's sake to look back on. But um, yeah, so it is just eight o'clock now, but I am tired um i feel like it was really nice just kind of relaxing and reading in the bathtub i had intentions of painting my nails tonight too but 
nothing's worse than painting your nails right before you lay down for bed and then you get like the blanket like smudges or like blanket imprints in your nails when you like wake up in the morning so i'm just going to maybe pick the nail polish that i'm i'm gonna change my nails to maybe like tomorrow um this is definitely not all my nail polish along with me collecting like wax stickers makeup love collecting nail polish so this is just some of my favorite brands so the ilnp a few orally's a few sally hansen's and then those are my new like cuticula nail polishes that i hold in my latest sticker video um i just feel like this is it actually looks weird like it looks kind of orangish in this light but it's just a pink color it's this one the starfish wishes but i don't know i just kind of want to change it out it still looks pretty decent i mean it's there's a little bit of nail growth but i don't know i think i want to change it out tomorrow it's gonna be pretty hot this coming week like i know i was looking and it's gonna be like upper 80s to like 90s this coming week so i feel like we can still get away with doing like a fun bright summer color and i am nope not this one i really want to do a bright blue yes i am feeling this blue i think this is blueprint from ilnp I think I'm gonna do this one tomorrow. I might do two colors. Like I might do this blue and maybe like the purple. I like to do those two together. Or I don't know. I might just do this one though. I'm like really in the mood to do this metallic y blue. So yes, I think that's the color we're gonna do tomorrow. We'll change the nails. I like I said, I think this is gonna be like my last segment of the video though. So um maybe if i edit it tomorrow i can insert a photo of what this color looks like on my nails but yes it's definitely a favorite of mine um and then this glittery star acrylic container i actually just got from like home goods one day and i really like it it's kind of nice to store the nail polish in but yes, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.